Ah, the crescent of the sun. Considered by many to be the greatest mystery and biggest letdown of the past millennium. You know, if you don't count Rocky V. The crescent was wielded by the Angelus approximately 800 years ago for half an hour. She claimed it was forged from a single drop of the sun's flame, that it would bring about the final end of the darkness. What she forgot to mention, however, is how the crescent would do this, which is important because she never got a chance to use it. Carrying it into battle against the darkness, she was immediately disemboweled. A bit anticlimactic for sure, but it only gets worse. A few years later, the crescent was rediscovered by a holy warrior. Once again, the blade was wielded against the darkness. This time, it even managed to get a few good swings. But you know what? The blade passed through the darkness, like a knife through water. Later, after monks recovered the crescent from the warrior's corpse, it was tested against multiple targets. Turns out the blade passes through all matter. People, stone, trees, kittens, just whoosh, goes right through. No harm, no foul. Could be only the Angelus can wield the crescent, but if so, why has she never tried to reclaim it? Personally, I think the Angelus talked a big game. It was just as surprised as everyone else when the crescent turned out to be worthless. Which begs the question, where did the crescent come from? I got no idea, but I hope she kept the receipt.